Now, as the Israel-Hamas war continues, Israel has relentlessly bombed the Gaza Strip and at least 7,000 Palestinians have been killed in airstrikes. These are, of course, figures released by Hamas. Palestinian Health Ministry says that most of them are women and children. And as the barrage of attacks by the IDF continues, there is another catastrophe unfolding on the ground. A health crisis is unfolding in Gaza and it is happening as we speak. As airstrikes continue, 1.4 million people in Gaza have fled their homes to seek temporary shelters. Now, doctors in Gaza say that several patients who are visiting the hospitals are exhibiting signs and symptoms of disease. The medical experts have pointed out to overcrowding and poor sanitation as the key factors which, is triggering, which are triggering the spread of these diseases. <laughs> احنا يعني قاعدين زي ما بقولوا حاملين روحنا على كفنا ولكن الوكالة بتقول انه هذا المكان آمن واقعدوا فيه لكن بنضطر ان نخرج من هذا المكان بنروح نشتري خبز بنروح نعبي مية بنروح نشتري بعض المستلزمات في عنا اشياء كثيرة مش متوفرة ومش موفرها الا الوكالة المأوى اللي متوفر متوفر لجزء من الناس وفي ناس قاعدين بدون مأوى for days now, international aid and humanitarian agencies have repeatedly issued warnings of an impending health crisis in Gaza. Over a million displaced Palestinians only have a few temporary shelters to seek refuge in. With spaces getting crowded and cramped up, civilians are now reporting of medical issues such as stomach and lung infections and rashes as well. But this is where the problem worsens here. For days, Israel did not allow for a humanitarian passage to Gaza. And neighboring nations such as Jordan and Egypt have also refused from taking any kind of refugees from, from Gaza, which of course leaves no area for them to go. This after cutting off access to all essential supplies like food, water, medicines and electricity. When aid was finally allowed to be delivered to Gaza on 21st of October, the quantity of supplies is merely a drop in the ocean. Gaza is only twice the size of Washington, D.C., after Israel's military action in the region, a substantial part of the strip has been flattened. Acres are covered with debris. And for those who live to survive another day in these uncertain and volatile times, battling widespread diseases is yet another challenge that the region has to grapple with now.